I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So I wanted to give you my two cents on why I believe that the earth is flat. Now, obviously, I was indoctrinated, and so the world wasn't always flat to me. Um, I believed we were going, what, 66,600 miles around the sun. Like, uh, you know, we're, we're blowing 666 around the sun. And, I, you know, we grew up. I remember the Challenger explosion. I remember a little kid, you know, I was just in like second or third grade, the Challenger blew up and we were all devastated. You know, we, we, we were little kids. We didn't really get it, but I mean, it was crazy, right? They were, it was just a huge thing for the Challenger to blow up and for us to have that problem with, with things. Now here I am about 41 years old. I am 41 and my perspective has completely changed. And a lot of things I have to account for throughout my life of leading a, what I do is I, I've always done high-end microwave engineering. And so I go from point A to point B and I set up a microwave link and I go distances, 200 miles or so. Um, there's always, there's always longer shots and there's always shorter shots. But I mean, that's what I did is I went from mountaintop to mountaintop. And it's very important to know that you have to have a straight line of sight. Not only do you have to have a line of sight, there's a, a spot where the wave has to go up and down at. Like it's called the fretinal zone. And everyone will call it, it spells like fresnel zone, but it's fretinal. It's named after the guy that actually came up with it. But as a wave travels, depending on the frequency, it goes up and down and it has to complete that up and down section, right? And so here's what I got to thinking about is on a 200 mile link, we never account for curvature of the earth. Can you imagine that? If I had to account over 200 miles of curvature, the fretinal zone would be terrible because there would be a giant hump in the middle of every wireless link that you ever do. That would be the main thing you would always have to account for is curvature of the earth. There's absolutely no doubt that it's you don't account for that it because everything's flat. The, the entire regions are flat mountaintop to mountaintop and i've been to the top of mountaintops and been on a 180 foot tower on top of that mountain it's all flat you can see for as far as you can see but it's flat and you can i've done all the specs i've all done all the gpsing on this stuff i've been on these mountaintops i've done all this so i've seen firsthand that everything is flat you don't account for curvature but the the wave has to complete up and down if you have that giant hump in the middle no wireless across the entire world would ever work 